Hello friends, Coolio here and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we are checking out the new Marvel trading card mobile game called Marvel Duels. Now, this game is currently in closed beta and I would have a download link down below for you guys to try it out. However, they closed off the uh, the availability because they reached like 10,000 peak players or something like that. So they decided to shut down uh, new people coming into the game. So I do apologize for that, but this is an upcoming mobile game and the closed beta started a couple of days ago. I'm just, uh, I'm a little late getting into the game itself, but let's go ahead. We're just going to jump in. We're going to play a couple of rounds. So this game is definitely centered around quick, faster matches than other TCGs. There's no like limitation to like mana or resources you have to use in the game. They use sort of like this action point system and they, it requires a lot more combinations between the cards, different abilities. Now I'm playing as a Spider-Man deck and Spider-Man decks have this really cool uh, word, like Spider-Verse word that you can kind of play combos and stuff off of. Uh, let's go ahead, we're gonna get rid of Sandman. It confirm. Now, the one thing that, honestly, the one negative thing I do have to say about this game, I wanna just kind of get it right up front, is I feel like the card art itself, like it's it's got good card art, it's just not as, how do I say this? Not as compelling, not as distinctive as I've seen other, like the, the Marvel Battle Lines TCG game that they canceled pretty much to make this game, uh, to allow this game to come out. I do feel like in other games, the card art looks better. The card art in this is fine, it's just not as as impressive. I don't know how to say it. Maybe it's like a, like a personal preference. Maybe some people will like the card art in this one better than other games, but I think, look, I think the card art is okay. So let's go ahead, we're gonna jump in. We're playing against another guy, his name is At At Atina. Now every player has a total of 300 life points. And you'll notice the cards themselves, the cards do not have health points or attack points. They just have power points, all kind of bundled together. Power points is your attack and your health itself. So we've got uh, Spider-Verse, this is Silk. When played, draw a card with energy level one and power lower than or equal to 30 that doesn't have the Spider-Verse keyword. So we're gonna go ahead and play that. Let's see, what else can I end up doing? So you can summon one character uh, normal summon per turn. You can special summon other characters as much as you want. This one, activate it only if you control a Spider-Verse character. Support summon a random energy level one Spider-Verse character from your hand and give it plus 10 power. We're gonna go ahead and activate that. Now we got 30 there and then Spider-Verse card web shooting can only be played if you have a Spider-Verse character on your battlefield. Deal a certain amount of damage to an opposing character where N is the number of Spider-Verse characters. Go ahead and do this to that. Take that out. We're going to go ahead and take him out. That's fine. And then now we can finally attack the enemy. Now, in order to attack the enemy hero, the enemy champion, the enemy's side of the field has to be clear. You can't have anything on the other side of the field. Uh, you just have to destroy all their defending cards and then you're able to then attack them directly. Now, there are trap cards you can play. Some that are placed face up, some that are placed face down. Um, there's equipment cards you can put. Every turn you have a a total of three actions that you can play. Once you run out of action points, you can no longer do anything on your turn. You then have to turn it over to, uh, to your enemies. And then once a turn ends, all of the energy, all the power of your cards then goes back to normal. So what we're gonna do, let's see. Uh, Rallying Cry on your turn, the second attacking character gets plus 10. Um, and the third attacking character gets plus 20 power until the end of the turn. So let's go ahead and drop that down. We're gonna go drop this, normal summon, and attack him directly. Now he has a special card that allows you to attack him directly. Now he actually has two of those cards, so I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm hoping he actually doesn't attack uh, my Spider-Man. This is Spider-Man 2099. It attacks me directly. It doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. I was hoping that, was, that wasn't gonna be the case. I wanted to play a couple of little combos. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Ooh, I do like Mysterio. Mysterio is a lot of fun. Um, do this. I can now play Mysterio. Support summon, it's gonna stun my character. But now that that character's stunned and another one of their characters is stunned, I can now go ahead and play Sandman. He has to ask two, uh, if there are two stunned characters on the end or on the entire play field, you can then go ahead and summon him. I'm going to go ahead and attack. Take them out. And then I'll have Mysterio go ahead and take this one out. Because he's the second attack, I get the combo for my trap card. And that's the end of my turn. So we're going to go ahead and end my turn. 
Now that's a persistent trap card, so I believe it stays on there the entire uh, time that you're playing the match. So I do like the quicker pace of the matches in this game. I think it's a lot of fun. I think for a mobile TCG, I think a lot of people will actually really like it. I do like the 3D animations. Most of the characters in this game have that kind of 3D animation. In fact, if you do end up summoning um, a ultra rare or like an epic or a legendary card, they have really, really cool animations. I'm go ahead and summon him. We are gonna go ahead and take out this guy. Actually, ugh, I shouldn't have done that. There's a reason why I shouldn't have done that. You'll see right here. Because then I would have gotten the attack boost for attacking him directly. That was my bad. That was my mistake. I can go ahead and now end my turn. I have no more action points left. Now the enemy's turn. I do feel, however, that there have been a lot of instances in this game so far that if you can flood the field, you can kind of dominate quite a lot. Uh, let's see. Spider sense. Triggered when an energy level one Spider-Verse character on your battlefield would be attacked. We'll go ahead and drop that down as a mystery trap card. Um, let's go ahead. Do this. We're going to normal summon. It's going to stun him, killing that. Or should kill him. Oh, maybe I... All right, whatever. Anyway, I take 20 and I still end up... Uh, I'll still end up saving my character anyway, so... Now, Sandman will be the third character attacking, so I will go ahead and attack with Sandman. It's that boost to damage. And then attack with... Oh, that's all my action points, so I can't attack anymore. You get three action points per turn. Opponent's turn. One more turn and I should be able to win this unless he plays a crazy combo. And there are some pretty fun combos in this game, I have to say. Return to sender. All right, what are you planning on doing, huh? You got two more actions left. You're gonna take out my Mysterio. Well, there doesn't look like there's anything else that you can do at this point. Uh, applicable character, spider versus character, allows him to have range. I think take no combat damage from the attack target while attack. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and summon. We'll summon him. We can attack. And now we can win the game. So we'll attack here. Get that increase to power. And now we can win. And there we go. Boom! Take that! Sad man! Victory is ours. Gain some experience points, some in-game currency. Now, during this closed beta test, they are giving out a ton of packs to summon. So, we're going to go ahead and head on back. We're going to do a bunch of summons, you guys. I think I have, like, enough to do, like, 40 summons. But before we do that, I do want to show you the collection of cards that you can collect in this game. So here's the Miles Morales Spider-Man. If I go ahead, you can actually tap on it and see what the card art looks like. I mean, it looks good. It's not like it doesn't have like that distinct style I've seen in other games. So we got Green Goblin as a legendary Spider-Man, Yondu, Ego, Star-Lord. And I will also I've noticed that all of the card art in this one is more based on the movies themselves than the comics. So what else we got? We got Ant-Man, Black Panther. Uh, we've got Abomination. Abomination does look like the comic book version. We've got Hela, Loki, Angela. So yeah, there, there's quite a lot of cards to collect, a lot of legendaries. I don't, I think like the, like being able to get a legendary must be really rare because I've summoned quite a lot so far and I've only got like one or two legendaries, I think. So we have a total of 50 packs that we can open. So this is going to go by, we're, we're going to probably open maybe 10 at the most. Because they don't have like an open 10 packs all at once. I'm hoping that's something that they add in the future. So we got two epics. Uh, Spider Venom, which they don't have the art yet for Spider Venom. And then Groot. Let's keep going. Maybe we'll go until we get our uh, get a legendary. So Volstag, Bulletproof, Sonic Pulse. I'll give you guys like a second to look at a couple of different art. A couple of different cards you can collect. Rocket Gun, The Hood, God Slayer, Unyielding Will, Hydra Missile. Actually, a couple of those are new. I haven't seen those cards. We got Okoye, Shield Agent, Volstag, Thunder Defense, Widow's Bite. Come on, give us a legendary. Okay, 
Phil Coulson, there's Agent Coulson. Punishment. Rally the troops, Chichari soldiers, shield medkit, branch shield, Drax's daggers. Ooh, we got an epic. And our epic is the AIM bomb, Eric Selvig, James Rhodes. Keep going. Okay, I'm going to start kind of picking it up a little bit. We're going to go a little bit faster until we can get ourselves, um, until we can get ourselves a legendary character, so. Cross your fingers, guys. Hopefully get one soon. I mean, I have like, what, 40, 50 of these packs to open up. I'm sure we're going to end up getting one, at, at least one of them, so. You also notice there are a couple of uh, scenes from like movies and stuff in this too. And I'm a big, big Marvel fan. So, okay, we got ourselves our very first legendary. I really, really hope it's a, a legendary I don't have, but let's check it out. We got ourselves Nick Fury. Cool, like I'm glad that we got ourselves a legendary, but I want to keep going because honestly, I want a different character. I think Nick Fury is pretty cool, but come on, when you got like Iron Man, Spider-Man, and all those guys as legendaries, you gotta get someone cooler. Hey, oh, Mysterio. I do like Mysterio in this. Mysterio is a lot of fun. It has some pretty cool uh, combos. Okay, we got an epic, and our epic card is Rocket Raccoon. I do love Rocket Raccoon. One of my favorite characters. Come on, give us another legendary. Lady Sif is a new one. Uh, Call to Arms is also brand new. Anything new here? Uh, invisible technology for Iron Man. Now there are a couple of different heroes that you can pick for champions. There's like, I think Thor, Iron Man. I'll have to go back and check. Okay. Ooh, Cosmo. We don't have Cosmo. Or I thought we didn't have Cosmo. We have Outriders now. Hey, I'm going to open up like maybe two or three more packs. We did get an epic and it is Raft Handcuffs. That's an epic. That seems like a really lame card. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to open up one, one more. This is the 10th. This is the 20th one that we've summoned. And we got nothing. All right, one, one more, one more. Come on, give us the legendary. Oh my gosh. What are the rates for legendaries in this game? That's literally like my, like, okay, second problem. The card art I don't think is amazing. A second problem. I don't have enough legendaries. Okay, I can literally go on forever. This will be my last one, I promise. Dang it. I thought if I said that. Whatever. Confirm. Here we go. Now, if you get duplicates of cards, you can eventually level them up and it'll change like some of their art and stuff. I haven't really experienced that yet. It looks like you have to kind of collect quite a bit. Uh, when it comes to the actual heroes you can collect in this game, like as your main characters, you have uh, Spider-Man, you have Iron Man, Captain Marvel, Thor, and Star Lord. Those are the five that you can pick. They're kind of like their distinctive like decks that you can play. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to see more videos on this game, let me know down below because I love Marvel. But the closed beta test is probably going to end here any day now. So guys, thanks so much for being here. My name's Coolio and I'll see you next time.